Okay, good morning. It is 8 a.m. February 18th, 2020. <clears throat> the light's ridiculous today. It's very dark outside. Um, today's movie is... What are they Nine! <laughs> okay, uh, it's The Great Escape with Steve McQueen and James Garner and Richard Attenborough and... Uh, James Coburn and Donald Pleas Pleasance and James Donald, whoever that is, I don't remember him, and then Charles Branson. I shot him. Um, yeah, Cl a classic, uh, uh, epic World War II movie right before that time period we were talking about that Clute helped rein in. A Changing of the Guard, it's called. Um, this movie is a bit movie-ish for a war World War II movie. It's it's taken quite lightly <laughs> for a movie about uh, a whole bunch of British soldiers, so soldiers, soldiers, and uh, one American, uh, played by Steve McQueen, are trapped. in Nineteen forty-three, not trapped. They're all captured and put in a camp because. As the German officer says, they're putting all of their rotten eggs in one basket. Or no, wait, he doesn't say that. I think that's from a different movie. That's from Inglourious Bastards or whatever, which is copying this. Anyway, um, uh, basically they take all their people who like to escape a lot and just put them in, in a big jail together. Um, and, you know, a lot of scrutiny on it. And it's the Luftwaffe at first that is running the camp and then it gets it gets nuts. Anyway, um, yeah, obviously they try and tunnel out, famously. It's called The Great Escape, for crying out loud. Um, I think that there's just a big hole. In t there's two aspects of it that are problematic, I think, for probably modern audiences. Is right off the bat, it's just like, well, wait a second. you They would just kill these guys. <laughs> like, I don't, like, I don't know. I don't remember the Nazis. They're not, like, playing by the rules. You know what I mean? It's not like they're... I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. But it it felt like, oh, well, if you tried to escape 17 times, they would just shoot you. They wouldn't be like, well, let's put them in a different camp. Maybe, maybe, maybe it was different in 1943 in Germany. But that doesn't feel right. You know, that along with the tone. But then... Um, yeah, the, the tone, yeah, the like, that it almost feels like it's going to be a comedy or something, or like, we're going to get these Nazis or whatever, and they do eventually kind of get scared or some kind of s bad things happen to them that make them go, oh, this is really dangerous, but as a whole, I don't think it, cap it doesn't capture war very well, is ultimately what I'm trying to say, not that I've been at war, but this doesn't seem accurate, <laughs> it's it's too entertaining um but that's what it's going for you know and that's what this time period uh you know 50s and then and then early 60s it's all about these big spectacles we're competing with tv remember i mentioned that before so you got to get big movies tons of stars i mean you look at this box it's got like you know there's like seven or eight pretty big stars uh not to mention james garner steve mcqueen and richard Attenborough, which are all like big and james coburn well, i guess he wasn't a huge name yet but um yeah, it's good. It's got some good moments. You know, there's famously a scene where Steve McQueen jumps a uh, uh, a barbed wire fence in a motorcycle. And it's pretty awesome. 
but only in context. If you're into the story, you'll be like, this is sweet. But if you just saw like a clip on YouTube, you'd be like, what? Who cares? Like I see, you know what I mean? People do, first of all, special effects are like, you know, we have triple X Xander versus ballistic or whatever. You know, we have crazy movies where helicopters fight submarines and whatever. But overall, the movie's cool, very cool and very entertaining. And those are probably my biggest flaws with it. Um, the length is not a problem. That's how it should be. Nice, long, like, 100 and, 171 minutes. What's that? That's like an hour. It's like, it's like over an hour. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I watched this, and then I started watching Peter Lou, which maybe I'll do tomorrow, which is a Mike Lee movie, the guy who did Mean Time, which is the review that I don't think anybody has watched it yet, which is good. It's a fresh one. <laughs> it's a fresh one. Um, yeah, my favorite scenes uh, in this are anytime... Uh, Charles Bronson is on the screen saying or doing anything. Very early on, he just kind of tries to escape with these Russians, wo- woodcutters, who have, like, built built the prison, and they're leaving, and he dresses up like them, and uh, uh, James Coburn or somebody else tries to get, you know, go out and goes, well, teach me some J- Russian real quick, and he tells me, ooh la, poo la, or whatever. That wasn't being racist. It does sound something like that. Um, he's like, what's that mean? What's that mean? He goes, I love you. And he goes, <laughs> he goes. Well, how's that gonna help you? I wasn't planning on using it myself. <laughs> oh God, I love that. I love that. Uh, <laughs> Charles Bronson, very good. Donald Pleasance is like he's famous. He's in Halloween and stuff, but I couldn't recognize him. He's too young in this. Anyway, you know the whistling. I got Christian Lerquai, which is hoo 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 hoo. Don't they have one as well? Which came first? I mean, Bridge of Never Quiet, I mean, I, that movie came out earlier. It was like 58 or something like that. Because I remember my dad saying he saw it in high school. And then this was also a popular movie. So this came out in 63. So my dad was 20. So he must have been right on the brink of him and his college buds. Probably went and saw Steve McQueen jump a fence. And then they probably, you know, threw away something without recycling it. <laughs> okay, uh, that's it. And you don't have to see it. Maybe, like, sit down with your grandfather one day and watch it until he falls asleep and then change the channel. Mm, mm. Daily review. Short one today. I'm just going to speed this up, see what happens. Get some swing on it. escape.